first example is the walking stick bug, right? Which is a sign that refers to a common quality. It's a, it's a likeness uh, in, in which and it, it corresponds to what Per says those whose relation to their object is a mere community in some quality, and these representations may be termed likenesses, right? Can you, can you see the walking stick bug there? It's a little hard to see, actually, right? Where, where is it? Can, can you tell where it is? It's not there, right? <laughs> well, um, the, so what, what Purse is indicating, or what I'm saying that person's indicating here is that the walking stick bug is actually communicating to the bird. And, and what's the content of that communication? It's saying, I am a stick, is really what it's saying. I am a stick, right? Uh, because what it's doing, it's, it's only referring to sticks insofar as it indicates that it shares with them the quality of being stick-like, right? But it's not distinguishing between, you know, the relate and the correlate. So the relate is, is the bug and the correlate is the stick, but there's no distinction between the two. The whole point is to not distinguish between the two and is to just focus on what they share as a quality, right, which is that appearance Right? So you're prescinding the quality from the relationship to the relate and the correlate. Right? So you can pay attention to the quality, right, looking like a stick, while you neglect that relationship of the sign, which is the bug, to the referent, which is the stick. You can sort of see, think of the bug itself as a sign that's referring to the stick, but referring it in a, a relationship of likeness right, in which that relationship of likeness is going to ignore the difference between the relate and the correlate and just focus on the shared quality, right? right? So I don't know, if, if you haven't found the bug, it's, like it's, it's right here, right? <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see it there. It's a little bit different than the stick, I guess, right? But it's, it's, pr it's pretty good, doing a pretty good job, I think, right? I mean, it took me a little while to figure out, oh, there is that walking stick bug there. Right? And so, if, I, if you want to diagram what's going on, in fact, all those four pieces of a comparison do exist, right? Because there is a related thing, which is the walking stick bug. There is the correlate, which is the stick. There is the common quality, being like a stick, right? And there is an interpretant, and the interpretant is really sort of outside appearance. Right? That's, that's the kind of, that, that's the, wi the, the kind of um, way we're looking at the two things in order to, you know, determine the type of relationship they have, right? So all of those four things exist even though where, you know, the, 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 the relationship of likeness is prescinding from both the relationship of related thing to the correlate and from the interpretant. Right? Because if, if you didn't prescind, then you would know that there's a difference, and then obviously the bug would get eaten by the bird. Right? So the whole point is to have the bird ignore all of you know, the, the, the difference between relate and correlate and that uh, and interpretant. Right? And so you know, when <coughs> in, in SATS, you know, what's, 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 what it's doing is it's, it's kind of you know, the bug disappears because it's saying, I am a stick, and it's, that's the communication to the bird. And the way it's communicating is just to emphasize the common quality, ignoring any differences, right? But there does have to be a correspondence in fact in order to make the comparison. The, the shared quality has to be a real quality that both the stick and the bug would share. I mean, the bug has to actually look like a stick in order for this to work, right? It has to be not an imputed quality. It has to be a quality that that walking stick bug really has, which is that appearance of looking like a stick. And, it, yeah, and, and, and to the extent that it, it, it doesn't look like a stick, it's, this is not going to work. It has to be a real quality that they share in fact. Right? So there's a, you can say that there's a, I guess you could say there's a, there's a correspondence in quality, but it's not really a correspondence. It's a shared quality, right? Because we're not distinguishing the stick from the, the bug. Right? So, <coughs> There is a possibility of an alternative interpretant, right? Because what we're saying is that 
interpreted as outside appearance, whereas the other interpreter we might have would be sort of edibility for the bird, something good to eat for the bird. And in that case, you know, we would have to reassign the walking stick bug to this other grouping with other bugs, rather than grouping the, the walking stick bug with, with twigs and trees and such, right? So, you know, so what's going on is there is actually an interpretant that's, that's controlling this relationship between the walking stick bug and the, and the stick, right? And there's a possibility, and there could be a different interpretant, right, that would then really break that relationship and set up a different set of relationships that the walking big bug would have to other bugs instead, right? And so, so there is, you know, so the, the interpretant is important here. There is an interpretant, even though the, 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 the likeness, the, you know, the, the form of representation is, is ignoring that other interpretant. It's, it's telling us to, to don't pay attention to the interpretant. Right, and that's the, that's the way this kind of communication works, right? And so obviously, the walking stick bug is taking advantage of this ability to prescind quality from relation and interpretant in order to, to, to effectively communicate what it wants to communicate to the bird, right?